Well, according to the CDC, 2 million people are treated in the emergency room every year for fall-related injuries. And many of these patients are 65 years old or older. Mary Nichols has a look at how you can play a role in preventing falls in tonight's Check Your Health report. But it's no fun to fall. It just shakes up your whole body. 85-year-old Gertrude Waterman was walking out of a grocery store and fell to the ground. I landed on my left side completely. So I obviously had not been looking down. Gertrude had some bumps and bruises. She'll spend a few days in the hospital, but this isn't the first time this has happened. I was in the garage and I didn't want to go in to get the grabbers to pick something up. And my hip went out and had to lay until somebody came. Approximately uh, one in three uh, elderly patients will fall um, in any a given year. Chip Doris is a physician's assistant at Intermountain Medical Center. He says there are many reasons why older people are more prone to falling. Well, I think it's multifactorial. Uh, certainly some deconditioning in muscles and being a little bit weaker or not as strong uh, can add to that risk of falls. Uh, also, people are on medications that can make them dizzier or lightheaded. Uh, or more fatigued, and so that can add to falls. There are things you can do to prevent falls. You should exercise regularly, talk to your doctor about the side effects of medications, be sure to get regular eye exams, and get a home safety check. A lot of things that you can reduce in the home that would reduce the chance of a, of a fall, um, good lighting, uh, reducing the amount of clutter and things that, that you could trip on. Mary Nichols for Check Your Health.